Well, this mural gives a simple message whose purpose is to unify, but it's actually already divided some people. 10 News reporter McKinley Struther joins us live tonight. He's in downtown Roanoke at the Campbell Avenue mural. And McKinley, the city has now just announced that the stretch of road right there with you will be closed until Saturday. They did, John. That decision came down within the last hour or so. And as the workday comes to a close, more people are making their way out here to Campbell Avenue to admire this art that was great in effort, but very simple in its message. Three words. It's incredibly beautiful and moving. One block. Roanoke should really be complimented. One powerful message. It's far past time to uh, to address it. Whether on the ground or from a bird's eye view, etched on Campbell Avenue is an illustration of the ongoing movement for racial equality. This is my letter right here. It took me 10 hours to paint it. Jordan Fitzgerald traveled from Charlotte to paint. While the message is about unity, not everyone is unified. Literally by 9.30, someone shows up to protest it. She says a man played his music loudly trying to distract the artists and refused to talk to anyone participating. Just scoured, just stood there, scoured, waves, just very menacing. He was trying to intimidate us. That is until Randy Melton approached him. Went back to his car, turned the radio off, and we engaged in the conversation and saw that we had more things in common that we had that divide us. Melton's daughter was one of the organizers. He says the man just wanted to be heard. The city of Roanoke aware of messages online from those unhappy with the mural. Like very early, I came to peace with it. Before I even got to lay down all the lettering, Jordan just know this is gonna get ruined. But it didn't even matter because it was, you know, I was saying something by just being here and by doing it. By the next day, things were calm. People of all races, ages, backgrounds came to read the message, a simple message that is, to end racism now. People who just stop by and have conversations, they'll remember that. And they'll remember the time where their small city, you know, stood out and spoke up against racism. They'll remember that. These barriers will remain here for the next couple of days, but the message that is written on the street here in Campbell Avenue will remain for so much longer. Should something happen here, like someone come and deface it, the city tells me that they will work with the police department as well as the Commonwealth's attorney on possible charges. We're live this evening in downtown Roanoke. I'm McKinley Struther, 10 News, working for you.